Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I run EdTech Classroom, the blog, podcast, and of course, YouTube channel. Today is the second day of Vlogmas. Now, if you aren't familiar with Vlogmas, it's something that a bunch of YouTubers do where we post a new video every single day in December for the first 25 days. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to put on winter-themed brain break activities to try with your students. So we'll look at three different examples of winter-themed brain breaks. Without further ado, let's get started. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three different examples of brain breaks that you can try with your students. For this first one, we're going to take a look at a brain breaks mystery game that I put together. So right now we are looking at a presentation that I put together in Google Slides. It's called My Brain Breaks Mystery Game. Now before I explain how this works, if you do like these slides, I'm going to have them linked in the video description down below for you guys to check out if you want to grab your own copy. Basically the way this game works is there are 30 different buttons on the screen here and what students can do is they can take turns coming up to your computer or coming up to your interactive whiteboard, clicking on one of these buttons and it'll call on a brain break activity for the class to do together. So what I recommend teachers do with this product or this activity is they Put this up on their board for all students to see. They sit around the circle in your meeting area and again take turns coming up one by one to choose one of these brain breaks. So the way it works is a student or the teacher can click on one of these buttons to discover their brain break challenge. So let's click on this one for example and it says your brain break is melt to the ground like a snowman. So students can pretend to melt to the ground. And then after they've done the activity you can click here to go back to the main game board page. Now let's take a look at this one here. It says your brain break is hop like a penguin for 20 seconds. And then next, we'll go back to the main page. Let's look at one more example. If we click right here on this snowflake, it says your brain break is wiggle, wiggle your eyebrows up and down. So you'll notice that these brain breaks are often movement themed. There's a huge variety in here that, I, that I've created. We have movement activities, we have mindfulness activities, any sort of brain break activity. But what I like about this is it really is sort of like this mystery game for students to check out. Now let's take a look at what these slides actually look like from the edit view. So right now we are in edit mode. You'll see that it says brain breaks mystery game. This is that home page. It's slide number one in this file here. And if you look on the left hand side, there are a bunch of different slides. We have 30 different options here that I put together. So there's that wiggle your eyebrows up and down. We have wiggle your body, walk around the room for 30 seconds, take five deep breaths, lots and lots of different choices here. And basically what I've done is I created all of these slides and I did some linking. Now I created all these rectangles on this home page here by using the rectangle shape tool. You can find the shape tool right here if you are a Google Slides user. Now what I've done is after I created the rectangle, I, I linked each rectangle to a new slide. So if you see here when I click on this rectangle it says slide 2, I hyperlinked this rectangle to slide number 2 so that when you click on this shape, when it's in full screen presentation view, it'll actually take you directly to slide two. So I've done this with every single rectangle that you see across the screen. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually link a shape in case you don't know how to do this. So if I click on the snowman here, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the link and I'll show you how to do it. So I've created my rectangle using that shape feature. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to this link tool right here where it says in insert link. If you are a Mac user, you can use the keyboard shortcut of command K to do this as well. Once I click on insert link, you'll see that I, now it says I can search or paste a link. So if I wanted to link something to an external document, maybe I wanted to link this to a website, I would have the ability to do that. But for this presentation, I want to link to slides in this presentation. So I'll go down to the bottom here where it says slides in this presentation. I'll click and then I'm going to choose slide number nine because that's the slide that I want to link. I'll click on it and now when you click on slide nine, it'll take you to slide number nine. Now of course I want to do the reverse as well. So I want to link this option here, this button here, 
back to slide number one. So again, the way I did that is I clicked on this link tool here, and then I chose slides in this presentation and I selected slide number one. Now, if you choose to download this exact game that I put together, one thing you'll notice is it is editable. So if you don't like some of the brain breaks, you can totally change them. Um, but if you do like this file, be sure to check it out because I actually have everything linked already for you. So it's super simple. You don't even need to do any prep. You can just try it out with your students immediately. Or of course, now that you know how I made this, you can also make your own. Now let's take a look at an example of creating a digital spinner using Wheel of Names. So right now we are on the Wheel of Names website, which is my go-to website in creating digital spinners. Digital spinners are so much fun for incorporating brain breaks to try with your students. Basically the way this works is on the right hand side, you'll see that I can delete all these name options here. So I'll just highlight and delete and I can start adding in my own brain breaks. So for example, let's add a couple walk like a penguin um fall to the ground carefully like a snowflake now pretend to build a snowman so i'm just pressing enter and you'll see as i press enter new sections appear automatically on this spinner here i'm going to add just a couple more options maybe say pretend to throw a snow snowball at the wall and then let's see one more um, pretend you are baking cookies now I came up with these really quickly just on the spot here but I came up with five different choices and now all you would need to do is once you insert these results you can click on the spinner here and it will choose one of the brain breaks to try with students. So this is a really fun and highly engaging way to incorporate digital spinners into your classroom to try with your students, specifically with brain breaks. Now this took me no time at all. So if you're looking for really quick and simple brain break activities to try, I highly recommend you use a tool like a digital spinner. It's really engaging. You can put this up on the board, up on your whiteboard or your projector for students to see. They have so much fun engaging with this as a class. There are also lots of ways that you can customize your spinners using Wheel of Names. You'll see there's this customize feature up here at the top. If I click on it, I can change the appearance. Again, there's so many different things that you can choose from, but let's say I want to apply a theme. I can see here if I can find one that's kind of like winter themed. I'll choose this winter blues option. I'll press OK. And so now you'll see that the spinner has changed into different colors. So there's lots of ways you can customize this. You can change this. You can put it in full screen mode. I'm not going to do a complete Wheel of Names tutorial. However, in another video as part of this Vlogmas series, I will be doing an in-depth tutorial on how to use Wheel of Names. So be sure to come back soon if you want to check that out. Now, lastly, I'm going to talk about a third activity option, which is stand up, sit down. Many teachers might already be familiar with stand up, sit down activities, but these are a hit to play with students and they're really great as transition activities. So if you're transitioning from one lesson to another or one activity to another, stand up, sit down can be a great transitional way to get students just moving for just a second as a quick brain break activity. And what's great about them is you can come up with it on the spot and you don't necessarily have to create something digital like you would with the brain breaks mystery game or with the digital spinner. So in case you aren't familiar with stand up, sit down, basically the way it works is the teacher shares some sort of prompt and then students stand up if the prompt applies to them. So for example, you might say something like stand up if you prefer to stay indoors when it's really cold outside. Or you might say something like, you might do like a this or that type activity where you might say, stand up if you like penguins more than polar bears. Another winter themed example for you. You could say something like, stand up if you really enjoy baking gingerbread cookies. So those are just three stand up, sit down activities that I came up with immediately on the spot. But there are lots of different ways that you can incorporate into your this into your classroom. Like I said, it's a really great transitional activity to try with your students. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about winter themed brain breaks to try with your students. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and during Vlogmas, I'm posting a new video every single day. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye friends.